1 Kings Chapter 15 And in the eighteenth year of King Jeroboam the son of Nebat, Abijam began to reign over Judah. He reigned three years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Makkah, the daughter of Abishalom. And he walked in all the sins of his father, which he had done before him, and his heart was not perfect with Jehovah his God like the heart of David his father. Yet for David's sake Jehovah his God gave him a lamp in Jerusalem, raising up his son after him and establishing Jerusalem. Because David did what was upright in the sight of Jehovah and did not turn aside from anything that he had commanded him all the days of his life, except in the matter of Uriah the Hittite. And there was war between Rehoboam and Jeroboam all the days of his life. And the rest of the acts of Abijam and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? And there was war between Abijam and Jeroboam. And Abijam slept with his fathers, and they buried him in the city of David. And Asa his son reigned in his place. And in the twentieth year of Jeroboam the king of Israel, Asa began to reign as king in Judah. And he reigned forty-one years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Makkah, the daughter of Abishalom. And Asa did what was upright in the sight of Jehovah, as David his father had done. And he put away the male cult prostitutes out of the land and removed all the idols that his fathers had made. And he also removed Makkah his mother from being queen mother because she had made an abominable image for Asherah. And Asa cut down her abominable image and burned it at the brook Kidron. But the high places were not removed, otherwise the heart of Asa was perfect with Jehovah all his days. And he brought into the house of Jehovah the things his father had sanctified and the things he sanctified, silver and gold and vessels. And there was war between Asa and Baasha the king of Israel all their days. And Baasha the king of Israel went up against Judah, and he built Ramah to prevent anyone from going out or coming in to Asa the king of Judah. And Asa took all the silver and gold that was left among the treasures of the house of Jehovah as well as the treasures of the king's house, and gave them into the hands of his servants. And King Asa sent them forth to Ben-Hadad the son of Tabraman, the son of Hesion, the king of Syria, who dwelt in Damascus, saying, There is an alliance between me and you, between my father and your father. I am now sending you a present of silver and gold, go and break your alliance with Baasha the king of Israel, so that he goes away from me. And Ben-Hadad listened to King Asa and sent the captains of forces that he had against the cities of Israel, and he struck Ijan and Dan and Abel Beth Makkah and all Chinaroth with all the land of Naphtali. And when Baasha heard this, he stopped building Ramah and dwelt in Tirzah. Then King Asa made a proclamation to all Judah, no one was exempt. And they carried away the stones of Ramah and its timber, with which Baasha had built it, and King Asa built with these Geba of Benjamin and Mizpah. And the rest of all the acts of Asa and all his might and all that he did and the cities that he built, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah? Yet in the time of his old age he was diseased in his feet. And Asa slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David his father. And Jehoshaphat his son reigned in his place. And Nadab the son of Jeroboam began to reign over Israel in the second year of Asa the king of Judah, and he reigned over Israel two years. And he did what was evil in the sight of Jehovah and walked in the way of his father and in his sin by which he caused Israel to sin. And Baasha the son of Ahijah, of the house of Issachar, conspired against him, and Baasha struck him down in Jibbethon, which belonged to the Philistines, while Nadab and all Israel were laying siege to Jibbethon. And Baasha killed him in the third year of Asa the king of Judah, and he reigned in his place. And as soon as he became king, he struck down all the house of Jeroboam, he left to Jeroboam not one who had breath, until he had destroyed them, according to the word of Jehovah, which he spoke through his servant Ahijah the Shilonite. Because of the sins of Jeroboam, which he committed and by which he caused Israel to sin, 
because of his provocation by which he provoked Jehovah the God of Israel to anger. And the rest of the acts of Nadab and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And there was war between Asa and Baasha the king of Israel all their days. In the third year of Asa the king of Judah, Baasha the son of Ahijah began to reign over all Israel in Tirzah for twenty, four years. And he did what was evil in the sight of Jehovah and walked in the way of Jeroboam and in his sin by which he caused Israel to sin. 1 Kings Chapter 16 And the word of Jehovah came to Jehu the son of Hanani against Baasha, saying, Because I exalted you out of the dust and made you a leader over my people Israel, yet you have walked in the way of Jeroboam and have caused my people Israel to sin, thereby provoking me to anger by their sins. I am now sweeping up after Baasha and after his house, and I will make your house like the house of Jeroboam the son of Nebat. Him of Baasha who dies in the city, the dogs will eat, and him who dies in the field, the birds of heaven will eat. And the rest of the acts of Baasha and what he did and his might, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Baasha slept with his fathers and was buried in Tirzah. And Elah his son reigned in his place. Moreover through the prophet Jehu the son of Hanani the word of Jehovah came against Baasha and against his house, both because of all the evil that he did in the sight of Jehovah, provoking him to anger with the work of his hands and by being like the house of Jeroboam, and because he struck it down. In the twenty-sixth year of Asa the king of Judah Elah the son of Baasha began to reign over Israel in Tirzah for two years. And his servant Zimri, the captain of half his chariots, conspired against him. While he was in Tirzah, drinking himself drunk in the house of Arza, who was over the household in Tirzah. Zimri came in and struck him down and killed him, in the twenty-seventh year of Asa the king of Judah, and he reigned in his place. And as soon as he began to reign, just as he sat on his throne, he struck down all the house of Baasha, there was not a male left to him, neither kinsman nor friend. Thus Zimri destroyed all the house of Baasha according to the word of Jehovah, which he spoke against Baasha through Jehu the prophet. Because of all the sins of Baasha and the sins of Elah his son, which they committed and by which they caused Israel to sin, thereby provoking Jehovah the God of Israel to anger with their idols. And the rest of the acts of Elah and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? In the twenty-seventh year of Asa the king of Judah Zimri began to reign for seven days in Tirzah. And the people were encamped against Jibbethon, which belonged to the Philistines. And when the people who were encamped there heard it said, Zimri has conspired and even struck down the king, all Israel made Omri, the captain of the army, king over Israel that day in the camp. And Omri went up, and all Israel with him, from Jibbethon, and they besieged Tirzah. And when Zimri saw that the city had been taken, he went up to the citadel of the king's house and burned the king's house over him with fire and died. Because of his sins that he committed by doing what was evil in the sight of Jehovah, walking in the way of Jeroboam and in his sin which he did, causing Israel to sin. And the rest of the acts of Zimri in his conspiracy that he conspired, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? At that time the people of Israel were divided into two, half of the people went after Tibni the son of Jinnath, making him king, and half after Omri. But the people who followed Omri prevailed over the people who followed Tibni the son of Jinnath, and Tibni died, and Omri began to reign. In the thirty-first year of Asa the king of Judah Omri began to reign over Israel for twelve years, he reigned six years in Tirzah. And he bought the hill of Samaria from Shemer for two talents of silver, and he built upon the hill and called the name of the city that he built Samaria, after the name of Shemer, the owner of the hill. And Omri did what was evil in the sight of Jehovah and was more evil than all who were before him. And he went in all the way of Jeroboam the son of Nebat and in his sin by which he caused Israel to sin, thereby provoking Jehovah the God of Israel to anger with their idols. And the rest of the acts of Omri that he did and his might that he showed, 
are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Omri slept with his fathers and was buried in Samaria. And Ahab his son reigned in his place. And Ahab the son of Omri began to reign over Israel in the thirty-eighth year of Asa the king of Judah. And Ahab the son of Omri reigned over Israel in Samaria twenty-two years. And Ahab the son of Omri did what was evil in the sight of Jehovah, more than all who were before him. And as if it were a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, he took as his wife Jezebel the daughter of Ethbal the king of the Sidonians, and he went and served Baal and worshipped him. And he raised up an altar to Baal in the house of Baal, which he had built in Samaria. And Ahab made the Asherah. And Ahab did more to provoke Jehovah the God of Israel to anger than all the kings of Israel who had been before him. In his days heal the Bethelite built Jericho. He laid its foundations at the cost of Abram his firstborn, and he set up its gates at the cost of Segub his youngest son, according to the word of Jehovah, which he spoke through Joshua the son of Nun.